Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So in my last video, I showed you guys the setup of the baby shower. Now in this video, I wanna focus on the setup of the wedding that I decorated this past weekend. The colors of the wedding was hot pink and purple, which was a first for me. My client requested a wedding arch with flowers. She wanted an aisle runner with candles and rose petals, all right? So I was able to record the setup for you guys so you could see how everything came out. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video, of course, for our lessons learned. And then I also have a few tips for you guys when it comes to decorating weddings. All right, so let's get started. I wanted to slow this video down just a little bit to show you guys the back of my leaf garlands because I get so many questions on how I add my flowers. So as you can see, the back of my leaf garlands have these tweeds and that's what I add my flowers into, okay? So now I'm just gonna fluff it out and then start adding my flowers.
All right, guys, so that was the wedding. Everything was so beautiful. I loved how everything came out. So that brings me to my first tip, okay? There are gonna be times when you can't get a good picture of your decorations because of the lighting in the venue, okay? I could not get a good picture of my decorations and it was so frustrating because I was like, oh my gosh, everything looks so beautiful. I wanna be able to capture it. So when you run into situations like that, make sure that you're taking video because I found that with my phone, sometimes I'm not able to get a good picture, but if I zoom in with my phone and I take a video, the video comes out better than the pictures, okay? So I just wanna give you guys that tip and I wanna let you guys know if you're getting frustrated, don't worry, I have been there when you can't get good pictures of your decorations. So make sure that you're recording videos and taking pictures from different angles. And then if you're still not able to get a good picture or video, then make sure you get the information of the photographer who's at the event taking the pictures. Because if they get good pictures, then you could ask them if you can have one of their pictures to advertise on your website or on your social media pages. And another tip that I have for you guys is that if you're having candles, you wanna make sure that you check with the venue to see if you're allowed to light those candles. A lot of venues do not let you light candles. So if your clients are looking for candles that are lit, and the venue says that you can't have lit candles, then you wanna get the LED ones, the ones that you can put batteries in them, okay? Now those are more expensive, and then you would just let the clients know that the price of their decorations is gonna go up because you have to order those LED candles. But you can offer those as rentals because you could reuse those, all right? So if you are decorating a lot of weddings or a lot of events that have candles, right? If you're doing proposals or anniversary dinners or things that are really romantic and you're decorating with candles, then you may wanna invest in the LED candles or the candles that have batteries in them. And along with that, let me tell you, if the venue says that you cannot light candles and you do it anyway, if anything happens, if there's a fire, if someone catches fire, or if there's something that happens, then your business is going to be liable for that. And the same thing goes for if you provide the candles and then you tell the client not to light them and they do it anyway, you may be liable for that. So you wanna be very, very careful when you're decorating with candles. I know they look beautiful, right? And they're very romantic, but they can also be very dangerous. So you wanna make sure that you're providing whatever disclaimers that you need to provide to your clients. And then you also wanna make sure that you're protecting yourself so that you will not be sued as a business. The same thing goes for rose petals. Rose petals are very slippery. <laughs> so if you have a client who's requesting rose petals, you wanna make sure you tell them to be very careful when they're going down the aisle. Because at my past wedding, there were a couple of people who slipped on the rose petals because they were doing a dance and they were really excited. So you wanna make sure that you let your clients know that if they want an aisle runner, if they want candles, if they want rose petals, they have to be very careful when walking down the aisle because these things, even though they're very beautiful, they can be dangerous. <laughs> and you don't want anybody to slip and hurt themselves, right? You don't want anybody to fall and you don't want anybody to catch fire. So just make sure you're paying attention to this if it's your wedding or if you're decorating for someone else's wedding. And the last tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you're decorating within the client's budget. And let me explain what I mean by this. So in one of my previous videos where I did this wedding arch, people were commenting saying that I should have made the wedding arch more full right? I should have added more flowers. I should have did the pool noodles and added more leaves. And the thing about it is, is that I have to decorate within my client's budget, okay? So the thickness of my arches depends on how much the client is paying me. So for this wedding, I charged the client $1,000 for all of the decorations plus delivery. 
Now, if I was gonna do a thick wedding arch, you know, a wedding arch that looks really, really full, then I would charge the client $1,000 just for the wedding arch, okay? And I decorate with silk flowers, so that's the reason why I would charge $1,000. But if you're using real flowers, it could cost more than that, okay? So whenever you're decorating, you wanna be aware of the budget. You don't wanna blow the budget and then end up not making any money off the event because you want the decorations to look a certain way. Now with this wedding arch, I could have made it look more full, but the client loved the way that it looked just the way it was, okay? That's what she requested. So when you guys are watching my videos and you see the way that I'm decorating and you may think, oh, why didn't she do this? Oh, she could have added this. Oh, she could have done that. Just know that I'm decorating within my client's budget. And that's a tip that I would give to you guys. Don't blow the budget just because you want things to look a certain way because then you may not make any money off of your event. All right guys, so I know I'm gonna be working on different wedding arches to offer my clients. I'm really excited about it. When I have a new arch, I will definitely make sure I make a video so you guys can see it. I'll put the links for the materials that I use in the description of this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.